Thank you very much. Uh, as you have said, this is a very important fora for the continent of Africa and the US to recalibrate and possibly re-engineer the relationship between America or the US and Africa, especially in the space of trade and investment. There are glaring opportunities that Africa and the US can take advantage of. We need to engineer a win-win formula. Win-win taking into advantage or taking advantage of the competitive advantage of the US in capital, know-how, um, machinery, and taking advantage of Africa's population, energy resources, and the obvious Africa continental free trade area that gives us that leverage. So what I see as the opportunity that exists between the US and Africa is that while the US has huge capital potential, on the other hand, Africa, with 1.4 billion people, going to 2.5 billion people by 2050, combines the opportunity of capital and population. And when I say population, sometimes population is seen as in terms of income. But I dare say that if you look, for example, at techno, by investing in phone, uh, telephone for the Africa continent, they have become the third largest mobile company in the world because they have taken advantage of the numbers in Africa. Let me give another example. The World Report tells us that food and agribusiness is going to be a $1 trillion business up from $300 billion at the moment. Again, the US with the know-how and with machinery can take advantage of the huge land resources in our continent, the big population in our continent. Instead of exporting commodities, the US should find an opportunity in investing. The capital they have, the machinery they have, the know-how they have so that they can produce for the African continent in Africa. Not to export commodities into Africa, but to export capital, to export know-how, to export machinery. I dare say, as a farmer myself, John Deere is a good tractor in Africa. <laughs> and that is what America should be exporting. And together, combine the resources we have in the continent and the opportunities that uh, uh, the collaboration can present. Let me conclude by saying that the Africa continental free trade area is necessary because today, intra-Africa trade is at 17 percent. It, it presents to us an opportunity because Asia, what can America do? The reason why intra-Africa trade is low is because of physical infrastructure and logistics. That physical infrastructure, road, rail, can be financed by capital from the US. And the market that comes as we increase the intra-Africa trade can benefit both US and African farms. And finally, the demographic, demographic dividend that the mean, median age in Africa is 20, gives us the opportunity to leverage on the labor that Africa presents to the, UN, uh, to the US investor. So Africa comes with population, comes with enormous energy resources, comes with huge labor, and US can come with capital, know-how, and machinery 
and we can have a win-win outcome. Thank you.